Hey everybody, it's Taki 117 back with Taki Space Program. We have another satellite headed to the moon. Um, now, it's been a while since I've played, you know, life got in the way and all that. So let's see, let's see if we can do this. Let's get our launch set up here. Okay, let's start our countdown. We are go flight. Engines running, ignition, and lift off. Okay, well, here's hoping for the best. Of course, I don't know how that usually turns out. Um, I do know this rocket has plenty of delta V to get me where I'm going, and I should be on glide slope. Uh, basically, what that I mean by it when I say that is I should be at the node for the moon so that I can make the appropriate course correction. Here we go. Starting our pitch. Mac Jeb does have control. We are still good. Five degrees at six kilometers, two kilometers downrange, uh, passing Mach 1. We're officially supersonic. Uh, I am still flying this rocket semi manually. Um, I do have MechJeb here to guide me in that regard. Little off glide slopes there, but we're still good. Watching my apoapsis, making sure that we don't go too fast, too low. Which for this rocket, I don't foresee being a problem. Okay, I can point surface velocity positive now, and that should take me to orbit. So I will see you guys there. And here we are, completing our final burn to orbit. There we go. For orbit prograde, and it does look like I am on course to transfer to the moon. Oh, we're not. Wow, I am actually way off. But you know what? That's okay. So I'm going to put a maneuver right at the node and that should get me nowhere near where I need to be okay well I have completely screwed the pooch on this one let's change my inclination no I want to match planes The irony, of course, is that I have enough Delta V to do this and still get to the moon. So this is going to be a two-minute burn. Wow, that's actually not a lot. 
but I do need to go almost completely around the planet to do it. I can't believe I screwed that one up so royally. So you all get to watch my shame and misery as I perform this massive plane change. This is not going to be fun. Fortunately, you guys don't have to sit through it. I do. So this took a little more Delta V than I was expecting. Okay, it took a lot more Delta V than I was expecting. But the great thing about this rocket is the satellite itself still has 2,000 meters a second. So now that I've matched my planes, I can create that node, and there we go. It's going to cost me 1,000 meters a second, but I have that. Um, unfortunately, I will be ditching my lower stage, my second stage in low orbit, and it will stay there for quite a long time until I can figure out how to deorbit it. Because once I jettison that satellite, there's no control on there. And once I complete this burn, it won't have enough fuel to perform the maneuver anyway. Hoping for the best. There we go, that goes. We deployed our satellite, which is going to finish off our burn. I do have my dish targeted at Earth, so I should not lose connection when I get there. But, uh, yeah. It's a nice little satellite. So, future missions. Um, I have... I don't have a mission to go to Mars, but I have a window opening up in about 200 days, I'm gonna be honest. But I do have a mission planned that will deliver a set of satellites to Mars. A set of five that will create a uh, network there, hopefully. Okay, there's that. And I will see you guys around the moon. And I have made a horrible, horrible mistake. So the antenna I have has incredible range. Uh, 40 gigameters. Unfortunately, the cone is not very big. So, I don't currently have a connection. Ooh, I forgot to activate my other antennas. At least that antenna. I thought I had another one on here. I might, no, I don't have another one on here. I thought I had another one on here, but I have that one, which gives me a connection. So yay, mission saved. Uh, but I do want to point radio out. And the reason for that is so that I can adjust my orbit. Ever so slightly. Wow, my periapsis is really buried down in there. There you go, 25 kilometer periapsis. I want to change my apoapsis. 200 kilometers that looks good to me now you're probably wondering why 200 kilometers well that's part of my um, requirements is I have to to have low orbit high orbit and then low and high again I probably should have done those already but I didn't want to waste my battery in transit. I just love the look of this satellite. There we go. Right now it's definitely in orbit. 
wonder if we're in high orbit. So first things first, let's log and transmit magnetometer data. And apparently 25 kilometers is high above the moon. Well, that sucks. Change periapsis to... We'll do 10 kilometers. Minor orbital adjustment, not a problem. This reminds me very much of uh, Voyager, actually. I mean, not the same at all, but that's what it reminds me of. Beautiful view of the moon there. Absolutely beautiful. Tiny, tiny little barn. There we go. I'm going to point radial out just because I feel like it. We're going to drop down to 10 kilometers, repeat our experiments. And if we can do that, then all we gotta do is uh, stay in orbit for 73 days. Ooh, I saw something zip by there. Here's Venus. 40, 30, 20, 10 kilometers. Quickly log it. Oh no. All of my satellites in the wrong spot. Give me something to work with. There we go. 17. So 17 is enough to do it. Yes, 17 will do it. Sweet. All I have to do now is sit in orbit for another 43 days or 73 days. So I'm gonna go back and. Let's work on some more contracts. Uh, my Venus 1 probe is seven days out. So I'm going to go check on it. Ah, talk about an old satellite. But I do have a connection. And this is... Hopefully everything that can be reset. No. Okay, so I've just transmitted all of my data. Um, I am still producing quite a, some electric charge. Uh, my probe is likely going to die here in a little bit unless I warp some. There we go. There we go. So I've transmitted a whole bunch of science. I am six days away from Venus. But I need to pass within 20,000 kilometers. So I want to... Fine tune closest approach. We'll say 15 kilometers. Create node. Oop. Move all. Create and execute. Since I can do it now, it will only cost me 37 meters per second. 
and get me pretty darn close. 15833. Okay, but you know what? That's okay. Chase that down, or at least closer. Alright, let me check my builds that I have going. All right, 15 days for that one, 61 days for the other. I'll see you guys around Venus. So I want to take a second here and point out Venus right there. And we are going to watch as it gets closer. Okay, we are about 15 seconds away from our moment of truth. Will we maintain this connection to Venus? Um, I do have a backup plan in case everything goes wrong, but, uh, you know, my track record, something is going to go wrong. inside Venus's sphere of influence. All right, so I'm going to point radial in. There's Venus down there. You just barely see it. It's black on black, which isn't very good. Oh, this is awesome. All right, I'm going to give my engines just a little bit thrust to bring me down to less than 15 or less than 20 kilometers. Good news is we do still have connection. There we go. We are less than 20 kilometers. Excuse me. I think that's 20,000 kilometers. Whoops. Good news, though. Nope. Is I can transmit all of this data back from Venus. point radial out since that does say 20,000 kilometers and not 20 kilometers. That's what I get for not being able to read, kids. Stay in school. Learn rocket science. And hopefully be better at this than I am. Okay. So 17 kilometers seems a little close to me. I'm going to go out to 100 kilometers. And I have no idea where the edge of the atmosphere for Venus is, so this could be a really bad idea. Eh, 115 works. I guess I ran out of charge mid-burn there. Alright, so it wants me to fly by Venus. Instead, I'm going to circularize next periapsis, create that node. 2300 meters a second. Now note, I am doing this with fuel. I know that's not a big deal to some of you guys, but it's a big deal. Because if I don't have enough fuel, I'm not going to be able to make orbit. Fortunately, I still have 932 meters a second in my transfer stage, which I'm going to use every drop of that, 
and I have 290 or 2,975 meters a second in my satellite, and you better believe I'm going to use everything I can out of there. So I have plenty of delta V. Issue is. Is it going to count my flyby? Because I won't technically be flying by. But we'll find out after this after the end of the episode. We are about five seconds away from the start of our burn. Right now, I do not care about inoperable. This is literally get as much data as you can while you are in low orbit. See the engines move. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Okay, um, Mike Jeb is has taken control. I'm curious when it's going to start burning now. Look at that cloud cover. You can barely see through it. Atmosphere is incredibly thick. All right, any time now, Mike Jeb. Oh, awesome! I did get my flybys. Cool. lost connection. Why did we lose connection? Well, because the Earth is over there. Whoops. So we have to wait until we get on the outside of the or the other side of the planet to continue our burn. And watch. Venus there. There we go. We have connection again. And we are going to continue our burn. Sort of. I'm going to burn as much fuel as I can trying to slow down. This is probably not going to work out too well. Transmit back when I can. It's 
slowing down as much as I can. If you watch closely, you can see my orbit curving ever so slightly. At this point, I'm just trying to make orbit. Loss of connection coupled with the delayed burn put me in a very, very bad spot. There's Earth. There's us. Still have plenty built to be. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and speed up the video so that you guys aren't stuck here watching this part like I am. And we've done it. There it is. There it is. Right, let's bring it down to something a little more reasonable. can adjust our orbit accordingly. Oh, look at that. Still have tons of Delta V left, too. Okay. You know what? Yeah. I'm going to circularize this the next apparatus. It put me in a very large orbit, but that's okay, because this is going to be what I'm going to call the... and I lost the word. Forget what I was going to call it. Foundation satellite. There we go. This is going to be the foundation satellite that all other satellites are going to connect to. Actually, I think I'm going to bring it down to 10 megameters. I'm talking 117 and remember, it's only rocket science. <laughs>